Hey guys, this is Nate with another 5-Minute Analyst video. What we're going to do now is take the next step and publish our map to a website, hopefully. Now this assumes a certain level of sophistication when it comes to websites and or server access. And if you don't have that, I would recommend that you set some of that stuff up first and get used to um, whether it's an FTP connection into your website or a cPanel or a web disk. There are a lot of ways to push information to a server, whether it's your own server and what uh, platform it's on, whether it's Linux or Windows, there's going to be a lot of differences. So um, in this particular use case, I'm publishing this to my personal website, um, which is hosted through Bluehost. So I've never actually posted one of my maps to my personal website. I typically always post them to a Linux server at work. So it'll be a little bit different, but I think we'll be able to figure it out. So we've already got our map. Um, we created all the files. We, we, we have that in our folder. Hopefully you remember where that is. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna try and push that to the website. So what I've done is I created a web disk, um, which basically is creating a user path on my Mac to my website. So it's connected to that server already. So if we open a new window, I know we can keep everything straight. Um, we should be able to find our folders right here. And what we want to do is we basically want to load these on here. So I have my path, and this will be my URL, right? It'll be content.natebalancing.com slash demo slash anytime fitness. And then this will actually be what builds our map. So let's try and add those. And let's see what happens. So we'll drag these over here. Might take a few seconds. It's a pretty significant amount of information. So this should make it publicly visible. And that's the goal. Now we can send the URL to people, interact with it on our own, um, you know, get more input really find the value of the mapping uh, that we've done. So let's just wait a couple of seconds. Hopefully it's almost done. Then we can test it out, see if it works. All right, should be there. No pressure. Let's see what we've got. So this was our old map. So the new site would be content.8bouncing.com, demo. Hopefully this resolves. Ah, look at that. So here's our map, and anybody can get to it now. So what we actually have, and take a look at this, this is on a website. I mean, granted, it's my website right now, but it should be on your website too. Um, and now we can zoom out, we can move around, we can zoom in, let's see, Lake City, Lake City Anytime Fitness, let's see, see what your five, uh, five minute drive time looks like. Oh, what about your five mile radius? And if you wanted to look at the whole state from a regional standpoint, you've got pretty good coverage, especially in here, which is good because this is where I live. Um, nice to know that there's uh, several Anytime Fitnesses. And it's interesting to see, you can see these main uh, roads. I'm not sure what this road is off the top of my head. And then along the East Coast too, you can see a pattern of, you know, they're just slowly moving down uh, down the coast not as much in the middle obviously because you've got the Everglades in there and it's not as densely populated but to me from a strategic standpoint um, this would be very powerful because now you can start to see where your opportunities might be and you can look at it at a macro level like this or if you are really interested in the Sarasota area well let's zoom in and let's take a look at what's going on in Sarasota right so now you can see here are my locations this one is off of Manatee Avenue. This one's off of East State Road 70, North Tamiami Trail, Clark Road, five minute drive times. You know, 
they, they, it's cool. They're kind of staggered, right? You know, there, there might be some room for growth over here. You know, I'm not sure. Or down here. But it's very interesting when you start looking at your marketing from this standpoint, right? This, this to me, is kind of taking the next step from um, to be able to visualize what is happening on the ground at several different levels. So I hope you guys found this interesting. Um, if you have any questions, again, a lot of the the hurdle in this video is going to be setting up a website if you don't have one, getting access to that website. There are a lot of tutorials out there as far as how to do it, so I would recommend looking at those. If you have questions or comments, you can leave them here, but um, hopefully once you get that squared away, you're able to literally just move the files that we created in QGIS uh, using the QGIS to web plugin and post that on your website and then you'll you'll have something like this so let me know how it goes hopefully hopefully it, it's not as difficult uh, for you um, as it might be but uh, let me know and hopefully you guys find uh, find this to be very useful and you can see application of this same process in other potential use cases that you might have well good luck and, and we'll see you next time thanks